Wow, I have a huge collection of eyeshadow palettes and I don't need this many eyeshadow palettes. Even though I do this for a living and many times I will try to find really good dupes for you, eyeshadow palettes are something that you really have a hard time finding a dupe for. It can be close and it can be comparable, but not always exactly the same. A couple questions that I get very often are what do I do with the ones that I get rid of? They are either donated, given to family, or some of them are just expired and yucky and nasty. They might have a smell. I just trash those so that you know that I don't want anybody getting an infection or anything like that. I also like to donate them to the high school drama club because they don't have a lot of money and it's a great way for them to be able to get their makeup, their stage makeup. So I love to do that. And I will also get the question as to if it's still good palette, why will I say, well, I can't show this to you on camera, so I'm going to get rid of it. Unless it's a palette that I am absolutely head over heels with. I have learned that if I do show it to you because it is something that I really love and you can't get it, there's a lot of people that really get upset at that. And I don't blame you because when I'm looking at a YouTube video and there's something that I fall in love with immediately, I want to be able to purchase that. So I usually do just get rid of those and donate those as well. So those are the questions that I do get on this channel. We take a look at what I have on each day because they get so many questions about that. Let's take a look at what I have on, but if you want to just skip ahead to the actual declutter of the eyeshadow palettes, go to this timestamp right here, right now, and you'll be able to completely skip over what I'm wearing. All right, so I have on a pair of stretchy denim white jeans today. Um, I can't remember what size they are, but I'll make sure I list them for you below, and they are really, really stretchy. Um, I didn't think these were going to fit me because the waist is a little bit tight, and I kind of have a straight up and down. I don't have a great hip system going on here. I do like these jeans very much. I also have on a really cute t-shirt that just barely covers the butt. Double lace sleeve, so it looks like a little bit of a ruffle there. It's just really cute with the v-neck. I love it. There's a bunch of colors in there. Also, I have on some jewelry that I'll show you right now. So here's the jewelry. jewelry. Herringbone kind of braided necklace. Just think it's so cute. Very shiny, very brilliant. It picks up the light. So pretty. And then I have a pair of hoops on that have some baguette crystals in them or rhinestones in them and then some rounds. These are really pretty. They're set in a silver setting and they're pretty as well. I also will make sure that all of the makeup that I have on and the fingernail polish that I have on will be listed and linked below for you since you'll be seeing the fingernail polish quite a bit. So without any further delays, let's get into the declutter of my eyeshadow palette collection. So here's my collection. I literally probably have about... I would say I probably have about 70. So we're going to rapid fire through this really quickly. I'm not going to take a lot of time on any specific palette and just see what we can get through. My hope is to get rid of about 30% of them. So we'll see at the end whether or not I can do that. We're going to start off with this small stack of smaller palettes. And the reason is, is because I think they're going to be easier to get through. I do have this one from Wet n Wild from that is called Petalette. And the reason that I hold on to this one, even though it's been remade, is I don't feel like the new one from Wet n Wild that is called Petalette is as good as this one. So I actually like this one better and I'm holding on to it for personal use. All of my e.l.f. palettes got broken in my move. So all I have left is the ICAU uh, palette right now. It's the blue one. And I'm definitely going to hold on to that one. And I will be replenishing my, re my supply of those other four pan palettes that are just so good. All right, so I have a couple of these that are the five in a box from Catrice. You can get these on Amazon. Uh, Amazon is pretty much the only place that you can get Catrice these days unless you want to go right directly to their website. These are really, really good quality and I have loved them completely and I'm definitely going to keep both of those because they're just, they're really good. And then I got this one. I haven't even had a chance to use it from e.l.f. It's the, their newest one. I don't know what it's called because the sticker's gone off of it, but it is their newest one and it's really pretty and I like the colors in it. There's some blues, but there's also some neutral and they're really pretty. This looks really chunky, but when you actually swatch it, it's not terribly. It doesn't have a ton of chunky glitter in it. So I do like that when it just comes across as metallic. Very pretty. These two palettes right here are from Makeup by Mario. There is the Glam 
quads party glam and rosy glam and i can tell you right now that i'm gonna declutter both of these i don't feel that the quality is all that good in these palettes i've tried several times to make these work and i just don't appreciate their quality i'm hoping somebody else can get some better use out of those and then also i like the new gilded minis from milani these are actually pretty good palettes call me old-fashioned is the one that looks like it is just kind of a smoke palette very pretty on the eyes and for the first time in a long time i like some of milani's eyeshadows since they discontinued those gorgeous ones that were in the gold packaging and then this one is as well the rose one i really do like that so i'm going to keep those and then the these three are from catrice now first of all this one is called the dusty matte eyeshadow you can see in the move this one got completely broken i'm going to throw that one away so that it doesn't get all over everything. And then I have two other ones. Now the rose one, the electric rose one, I do like this. However, it pulls really warm on me. And then I have these other two, the one that is the pure nude. I don't know if I want to get rid of either of these because they're fairly new and I've just really started playing with them. They're just a really great quality. If you've been wondering about that, my fingernails are going to chip here. <laughs> if you've been wondering about these, they are really good quality. So those are really good and they do have I think four or five of those these next three are from Natasha Denona and I do like these the little five pan ones some of them I like better than others like I really like this one that is the mini retro it has that gr those greens in it and a little bit of the peach colors in it this one is one of my favorites I do like that one but I do want to decide between these two right here which are the let's see mini love palette and then the mini crush palette I want to declutter one of these and I'm Think I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do the mini crush palette because it does have a lot of warmth in it. The pinks just pull way too orange on me. So I think I'm going to declutter that one and I will keep the love palette. This one I was really actually quite disappointed in and it is the mini one that is from Pat McGrath's. It is the Midnight Voyage. I thought that this was going to be such a great palette that it, I was just going to be have my socks knocked off. I used it twice and I've never picked it up since. I'm going to declutter that one. I just didn't feel like it was the best thing I'd ever used. This one from Charlotte Tilbury is the Bigger Brighter Eyes Filter Exaggerize. Exagger, yeah, Exaggerize. And this one... I actually am not a big fan of. I don't feel like you can get a lot of color out of this one right here. And I just, I don't know if I am just not in love with her quality or if I just am really critical of her quality. I don't know, but I'm going to get rid of that one. This is from Ilya. I was quite surprised that I wasn't more in love with this palette. Maybe I just didn't use it enough because as I'm feeling it, if the quality feels really good. But you know, this is such a dark palette and I have it in so many other things that I think I am going to get rid of that one. It's the cool nude one. Now these are the three that I have from Essence. Dancing Green, I think is a great palette. It's got some neutrals in it along with the greens that give you a pop of color. And the quality on these is really good. This one is the I like to mauve it mauve it one and this one is good as well. These are very muted tones. If you're somebody that likes to do a little bit of color but you like muted tones, these are the palettes for you. Great quality. This one is taupe it up and these are so good. The mattes on them are just fantastic and I do love these. I'm going to keep all three of those. I have in the past decluttered the ones that weren't my shade. However, this one from Essence, it's a new one. It's called Don't Worry B. This one is not as good a quality. I didn't feel as the other ones were. I'm not crazy that they split that pan right there. I don't know why they did that. I just think that it just doesn't look like a nicer palette like those other ones that are the six pan palettes. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. Straight ahead, these are a few that I'm thinking I might declutter. This one is from Tarte. It's actually their latest one that is a highlighter one. I might keep this for just a little while longer because I haven't worked with it too much. The quality I can tell is there. I just haven't reached for it enough. I've been reaching for singles. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Bar. So I think I'm gonna keep this one for a while. I hate how the fingerprints just get so smudged on these but I think I'm going to keep that one for a while. This one is from Sigma. It's the Glow Kissed. I have a bunch of singles of theirs. I'm going to pass this along to somebody that can use it more because I haven't reached for it hardly ever. This is the Benefit, uh, the Parade one. This one was from like 
I don't know, probably four or five years ago. I'm going to declutter this one and let it go to somebody that would like it a little bit more than I do. I just don't reach for it. I don't know whether it's because it's a face palette and it's tucked away and I don't reach for it. I don't know, but I'm going to let that one go to somebody that might like it. Also from Tarte is this one that is an older one as well. Ladies Night is what this one is called. I loved these round palettes that they did. I carried some of these around in my purse all the time and really liked them. And yeah, I think this is a good palette, but it's had its day and I'm ready to get rid of it as well. This one is one of the brand new ones from the Sephora collection. And this is the color shifter. I actually don't know what, oh, there it is. There's the name of it, Infinite Nude. And I think I kept this one because I felt like it was a really good nude palette. I do actually like this one. It's got cooler tones in it. This right here, which is the deepest one, it is a little bit um, more on the warm side, but it's not so warm that just using it in my outer corner is going to, you know, make my eyes look orange or anything. So I am going to keep this one for a little while. These are a great quality if you find some that you do like in that. Buxom sent me this one. Um, I gave one of these that's a darker one to my daughter, and I'm going to keep this one. I think these are really great, again, for your purse, and they have some great colors in there, and this one is called the Straight Up Palette. I do like that they have the blush and then all the colors for your eyes, and I do like that they have a mirror, and you can just throw that in your purse and go. I haven't worked with that one enough, so I'm going to keep it a little while longer. All right, these are two of the Charlotte Tilbury Face palettes. I recently got this one that is from Pillow Talk. I am, this is the last time I'm going to buy any of her quads and I'll tell you why. I don't think the quality is that good. I feel like it's just a bit stiff and I also know that she, these are always limited edition and it just kind of gives me a little bit of a twinge when I go to pick these up later on and I can't use them on camera again, like I said at the beginning. So I'm going to keep the Pillow Talk one, but this one that is the Nudegasm, I am going to declare because nobody can get that one anymore. I did use this color right here quite a bit, tried to make it work, but again, I don't feel like quality is that good on these. Um, I feel like it's really hard to get those out of the pan. I just barely got this one and put it in a video, and I will link that video if you guys want to see it. It's the NYX Ultimate Vintage Jean Baby Color Palette. Really good quality. I did a complete look with this, and I just feel like there's probably only two colors in here that are warm, and the rest of them are cool colors, and this is the kind of palette that I like. And you can't find cool colors very often anymore. Plus, I was so shocked at how good this quality is on these, and I have not liked this 16 pan palette from NYX for a very long time, but this one really was surprising, and I really did enjoy working with it, and I'm looking forward to working with it some more. These are some of my palettes that I might not get rid of. Actually, this Lilac U a lot, I might get rid of that one because I, I've used it like crazy. I feel like it's seen better days, and it's starting to kind of break apart and certain parts and get a little bit more of a film over it. So I probably will actually throw that one away. It's just a little bit too old and I don't want to give that to somebody and have somebody get infection or something from it. The All Amethyst, I hit the garbage, sorry. <laughs> the All Amethyst palette from them. I love this palette. It has some of the prettiest colors in here. This is just a beautiful muted lavender with some little bitty tiny reflex of gold in it. It's so pretty. I, I really like this palette. I feel like they did a really good job on it. And then the new lavish one, I thought this was really pretty. Now this is more on the periwinkle blue side for them, which I thought was just great that they actually did that. This color up here in the corner, that is a chunky kind of glitter one that I'm not crazy about with any of theirs but I just overlook it because I think all the other ones in here are so pretty. So that one I am not getting rid of. Petals on Point is a new one that they sent me. I really have been enjoying working with this one. I love the pinks in it, and I love that you can deepen up on this one as well. Again, I kind of got a little bit boogered in my move, but that's a really nice one. That's taupe. This is one that I have used like crazy and it's a mess, but I do love these colors in here. I feel like this is a really neutral palette without being too warm or too okay. cool. The Of but Quartz palette, this one I do feel is pretty darn cool. Very neutral on th these colors right here. You're getting a very neutral. And then the red rest of them, I feel like you're getting some very 
very cool colors. This one right here, just gorgeous on your lid. I just really think that they did a great job with that one. Love that one. The So Fly, so Fly palette, I think is a really good one as well. I loved all of them in here, except for I'm not crazy about that bright orange, but you know, the rest of them I've, I've used and I've gotten some really good use out of. And I think this is a very well done palette. And the Glow Getter palette is probably my favorite palette that they came out with last year. Just a beautiful palette, had kind of the gamut of everything in there. It had some very cool colors and I loved that green. It had a little bit of shimmer in it, but at the same time, it was kind of matte. So it just was really easy for me to work with on my mature lids. So I'm gonna keep that one. And then the Lust for Dust palette, I have had for a very long time and used a million times over. And I feel like this is the palette that you need to have in your collection. If you're somebody that wants to go with a little bit of color, but you don't want to get crazy, this is a beautiful palette. I would like to buy another one and have it as a backup. Let's do these last little three ones right here. This is the matte from Huda Beauty, the Cool Matte Obsessions. And guess what? I haven't even worked with that. I just barely got it. So I'm going to keep that one around and work with it and see whether I like it. I have not liked her nine pan palettes very much, but I could not resist that one. Now this one is the Petite Matte Cool from Viseart. And this one is a gorgeous palette. And yes, I have worked with that one a lot. And this one, if you ever are just interested in buying just a cool palette and you want something that has just about everything in it, this one is the one that I would recommend all the way. And I love Viseart's formula. Nobody talks about them anymore. And I think it's just a shame. This one is the Paris Edit. And I think this one is just every bit as beautiful as the last one. And again, you are getting some absolutely phenomenal quality. If you remember um, Makeup Geek and her shadows, think, think of those. Those are what these are like. And they're just beautiful. I really miss Makeup Geek, but Viseart comes in a close second. I think they're beautiful. Right here, some of my favorite palettes, but the Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills can no longer be gotten, and I'm going to be getting rid of it because it's had its day, and even though I absolutely love this color scheme, I, I can tell that it's just getting old enough that it needs to be gone, and yeah, I'm going to just get rid of that one. I wish somebody would come out with that one again. Salute to Paris. I love from Essence. These are great shadows. This is a very light colored shadow scheme. So remember that if, if you decide to pick it up, but I really do love it. And I think it's a really good one. And then Hello Berlin is their other one that I kept that I think is just so beautiful too. Beautiful colors. And again, I think this is a very neutral palette that just about anybody can wear because you have the super lights and then you have the super darks over there. So I'm going to be keeping that one. And then this one is the Aurora Struck from ColourPop. I have not had a chance to work with this one hardly at all. So I'm going to be putting this one to the side and using it a lot. I'm not getting rid of very many. Smoke and Roses, not getting rid of that one. And I use that one all the time. And the Stone Cold Fox. I think that all of these I've just used and used. And I think their quality is fantastic. Now, Juvia's Place has the Magic Palette. This is was the original Huge Pan Palette. I think I'm going to get rid of this one and get the mini one because this one I don't get enough use out of because the pans are so big, but I adore these metallics in here. They're so pretty and so much fun. And even the mattes in here, they're just such great quality. There are several colors in here that I can't use because they're just not for me. They're just not my coloring. These, these few through there, I just really can't use them. So I think I'm going to get rid of this big one and get a smaller one next time I see those on sale. The Midsummer palette from Alter Ego. If you saw my look this morning uh, before the video started, this is actually what I used and I love this palette. I think it's so, so good. They did a great job. Their quality is fantastic and I love their mattes from Alter Ego. They're just so good. The one that I feel like matches it so well is the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. And 
what is this one called? It is called the Nouveau palette. It's very beautiful palette and I do want to work with this some more. This one got really hammered in my move too, but I would like to work with that some more, especially since it is along the same lines as the Midsummer one from Alter Ego. The one palette that I do regret getting from Anastasia Beverly Hills last year was the Rose Metals. It's just too warm for me and I think I reached for it two or three times. I've used two colors out of it, maybe this third one right here, but that was it and I really regret having put out the money for that one. It just, yeah, just didn't work for me. The Soft Glam, I am so late to the party on this. I just got this. It was on a really good sale and I just thought, you know what, I haven't tried it and so I'm going to be working with it and trying to do some pretty looks with it. All right, let's go through this one right here. I'm gonna start at the bottom on this because my beautiful friend, Mary from Glitzy Fritzy, she was kind enough to hook me up with these from Sydney Grace, and these are the, her blessed palettes. And I am here to tell you, let's see, let's open up the light one. I have been absolutely in love with these and boy, did Mary do a great job. Uh, this teal right here, the purple, the silver, this color over here that's called My Savior, and her white. Oh my gosh, she did such a fantastic job on this. I even used this darker one today and just dipped into it a little tiny bit, and wow, she just blasted it out of the park. If you have not had a chance to get these, get on their waiting list. Such a gorgeous palette, and Mary, you did a fantastic job. This one is the Violets from Juvia's Place, and I have had this, and I keep saying I'm going to work with it, but gosh, it's been such a long time sitting in my drawer, and I'm going to let this one go this time. I'm also going to let the Nudes of New York from Maybelline go, because you can't get this one anymore by buying it just in store. You have to pay a lot to get it. I I hate it when companies do that. They get something that's really good. I feel like this was a really, really good palette, but you can't get that one anymore, so we're going to let go of that one. These two, the Identity 1 and the Identity 2 palettes from Persona, these are not going anywhere. This, these are just absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. I can't believe the quality of these, and I love these palettes. And as a matter of fact, I actually got rid of the second one at one time, and then I went back and I bought it again because I was like, what was I thinking? They're just gorgeous, and they're great palettes. I think anybody could wear just about all of those in there. All right, this is from, I think this is from the holidays this year, and it's a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. I'm going to let this one go because, again, I just don't reach for these palettes that are the face palettes enough. I reach for my singles. I'm going to pass that on to somebody that might like it better. The Coastal Palette from Alter Ego. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I haven't used it enough. I've used it a couple of times. It did take a hit in my move, but it's so pretty, and I absolutely love this. And yeah, I'm going to be working with that one a lot more. I need to just get these out. I, in the last six months of being, you know, operated on, I haven't cared whether or not I did my makeup. So I need to start caring again, whether I do my makeup. Again, this is the Rose Quartz from Huda Beauty. And this one I voted, I think it was not last year, but the year before the number one palette of the year. Just thought it was gorgeous. Mer Mercury in Retrograde from Huda Beauty. I don't know whether I'm in love with this one or not yet. I have worked with it maybe once, maybe twice. I need to work with it more to see. I will be keeping the new nude palette. I do love this one, even though it's a little bit warm on me. I still love it. And yeah, it's one of those ones that I think just about anybody can get some use out of it. And it's got some gorgeous colors in it. These are the colors that I reach for on the daily for myself and really love so, so much. The Empowered Palette from Huda Beauty. I did not think I was going to like this, but oh my gosh, I love this. There's only two colors in here, which are the two golds, the bright golds that I feel like I can't use out of it. All the other ones, they're just incredibly beautiful. And again, I need to be reaching for these more. The Naughty Palette, the Naughty Nude Palette. I, again, did not think I would like this one, but I love it. And so, yeah, just need to break these babies back out and start using them. I'm going to be getting rid of the BH Cosmetic palettes that are no longer available to anybody. The Blueberry Muffin palette and the Smitten in Switzerland palette. I love the quality of these 
and I'm so sad that BH Cosmetics went away, but they did, and so we need to get rid of them. The LA Girl, this one is the Fierce and Wild palette. Um, these are the 16 color eyeshadow palettes. I adore these, but every time they come out with a new one lately, it seems to be less and less the quality that I'm used to. I bought this one at a TJ Maxx and it was brand new because mine completely got obliterated in the move. So I'm going to keep this one for a little while longer, but you can't buy this one anymore, which I'm really sad. All right, but here's some ones that we can go through fairly quickly. This is from Melt Cosmetics and it's called the Millennial Pink. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one, even though I absolutely love the color story. I I have in the year and a half I've had this, I have reached for it one time. I did like the quality of it, but I am going to let that go to somebody that might use it more. These two palettes right here that I'm going to show you next, these are from Adept Cosmetics and it's an indie brand and I, I love these palettes. They're so pretty. This one is the Plain Jane Remastered. These are all duo chromes. I'll make sure that I um, put down below who this company is. They're absolutely insanely beautiful and every single single one of them is just in, on its own, just so pretty. Now, a lot of these are toppers, but they're just beautiful when you put them over a white. I love them. And then from Adept Cosmetics, again, this is the Amunet New, I think is how you say that. Now, this one is gorgeous to be able to do a complete look. These aren't just toppers or duochromes. This is a beautiful palette to be able to work with. You can get tons of looks out of it. This is a palette that I would have expected from Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath, something like that. But this is absolutely incredibly beautiful. And also from Vintage, Co oh no, Gimme Glow Cosmetics. This is a Vintage Rose palette. I love this palette, not getting rid of that one either. These are some of the most beautiful metallics and mattes that I have ever, ever used. They're just gorgeous. And then they also came out with the Vivid Rose one. And that one is of course my dream palette because it has the pinks and the purples in it. This is so pretty and not going to get rid of that. Now, one. this one now, is from Dominique Cosmetics, and I think I am going to get rid of this one. My daughter took the blue jean one or whatever it's called. I can't remember what it's called, but um, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I've used it quite a bit and it's quite old and you can't get these anymore. So I think I am going to be getting rid of that one and parting ways with that one just because nobody can get it anymore. Right and here are my singles from Sydney Grace. And you know, what's a shame about that is I have so many palettes that I have a hard time finding a way to use these ever. And so, yeah, they sit and some of them really did get knocked around in the move. These are beautiful. I want to use them more. We will see how the year goes. All right. Whether. This is the original Tartlet palette from Tarte Cosmetics. I did love this for a really long time and I just don't reach for it anymore. It's all matte. If you're looking for an all matte palette, it does have really good quality about it. I feel like it is one of those formulas that's a little bit stiffer and doesn't have a huge payoff as far as saturation, but a lot of people like that because you have to build it up and you don't get too much on and then have to worry about it. This is just one that I have not reached for in like two, maybe three years. So that one's going to go. And then these ones right here are fairly new to me from ColourPop. ColourPop did send me these in PR. This is my favorite palette right now and it's called the Pretty Please palette. I just think they did such a good job on this one and I love the quality of it, but the color scheme is so pretty on it as well. Just really love that one. The Enchanted palette, again, I really do like this one. However, I feel like this is a little bit too dark for me, a little bit too on the pink side, warm side. I think I'm going to get rid of that one and donate it to somebody that can use it. I do really like this very well palette. I think I can get a lot more use out of it. There's really only one color in here that I kind of stay away from the rest of them. I really like, so I will probably be keeping that one for a little bit longer. The shadow kiss one from alter ego, I think is fantastic palette as well. They really did a great job on this one as well. They have a great formula. If you haven't tried alter ego before, this one is from Delancey. This is called gray smoky. It's a 16 color eyeshadow palette. I need to use this more, but the three times that I have dipped into this, this is a really, really good 
formula and it really surprised me how good it is so this is one that you can get off of amazon it's very inexpensive and like i said i was just shocked at how good that formula is just really really surprised on that one so i'm going to keep those i have three palettes from pat mcgrath and the only reason that i'm keeping these three and not even talking about them or anything is because of how much money i spent on them now i did get a really good deal on them but um at the same time i haven't had enough of a chance to work with them to say whether or not I can just absolutely love them. Now, I can't tell which one this is, which mothership this is, but it's one of them. Anyway, this one is pretty too. This one has a little bit more of the rose colors in it. Gorgeous. Her formula is beautiful. I am not super crazy about those ones that have a little bit more of the reef of the glitter in them, but they're, they're really pretty and I'm going to be working with these. Just haven't had a chance to yet. If I was going to get rid of any one of them, it would have been this one. And and the only reason is because those are really warm colors. I promise we are coming down to the wire here. The Cinderella palette from Sigma. This is one of my favorite palettes that I used over and over again last year or this year, last year, last year mostly. This is a beautiful palette. Absolutely fantastic quality on these. I cannot tell you how much I love this quality. The Alice in Wonderland one, same thing. The quality on these is just something bar none. It's just so pretty. Sigma palettes that are the 14 pen palettes, they are so, so good. And you get a full size brush in there. I mean, come on, that's just insane. So I'm going to be keeping those for sure. And then here we go. The last little bit is about Natasha Denona and Sydney Grace. And I can tell you that I'm going to probably be keeping all of these because I gave my daughter the ones that I didn't want. This one is the Glam palette. Love this palette. I think it's one of the best ones she's ever done for a neutral palette. This one is her retro palette. So beautiful. You can tell I've used that one like crazy as well. These are my jam. This is my colors. This one is my dream palette. Now, if I was going to get rid of one, it would probably be this one, but I'm not getting rid of it. I think this is so pretty. There are just two colors in here again that I probably wouldn't touch at all. This is a little on the warm side for me, but again, her quality is phenomenal. Take a look at that duochrome right there. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I I love that palette. And then the uh, the last one I have of hers is the Retro Glam, which everybody was like, why did you call it the Retro Glam? Well, I don't know either. So, but it's really good quality and I'm not getting rid of that one. And the last two I have are the Sydney Grace Enduring Love. This is the light one. Sorry about my dog outside. That's the light one. And they don't do that in the hard case anymore. It's in the uh, cardboard case. So I was lucky enough to get that. And then the piece de resistance of the whole entire thing that I'm going through today. This is the tiny Marvel palettes from Mel, um, and Sydney Grace. And what a gem. I am so glad and feel so blessed that I was able to get this palette. I just, Mel did a fantastic job on it. And this is kind of her legacy as far as what she loved for beautiful eyeshadows and they truly are great and i'm so glad that they're they are big pans because we get to enjoy them more and more okay so that is it i'm gonna add everything up let you know how we stand okay so i think i did pretty good i'm actually going to get rid of 26 those are over there if you can see those and then i'm going to be keeping these right here and there's 70 of them so didn't quite do a third, but did pretty darn good.